What's going on people? My name is Harrison, or what many of you know me as World Geo, and this is part five of my series to visit every corner of the United States. I'll be covering my trip to Canyonlands National Park. This park is just 30 miles from Arches National Park, in which I covered in my last video. This is my second stop in Utah and my fourth national park this series. The park covers 337,598 acres, making it the largest national park in Utah and the 23rd largest in the United States. With the park size and rugged landscape, it is separated into four districts, which are in the eye in the sky, the needles, the maze, and the rivers themselves. If you're on a time limit, then the best area to visit in the park is the Island in the Sky District, but even if you had a bunch of time, this should be on the top of your list because of the views and it really helps you understand how big this park truly is. The Island in the Sky is basically a massive mesa and the Grand View Point Road drives all the way across of it. There is plenty of pull-offs and offers amazing overlooks of the canyons below. The first overlook that I stopped at was Schaefer Canyon Overlook, which is a really short walk from the parking lot. This offers views of the eastern canyons of the park and it really opens your eyes to how vast the landscape of Utah is. What's crazy is you only go up two switchbacks to get into the park and the first viewpoint makes you feel like you're on top of the world. You can even drive down into the canyon on Schaefer Basin Road, which I didn't do, but if you really wanted to get down in what you were looking at, then this is definitely an option. You can stop at any of these overlooks and the views are just going to be majestic but I wanted to jump to the grand finale of them all, the Grand View Overlook, that gives you the best views of all the southern canyon lands. This view hands down just blows you away. I sat here for hours just admiring the views from different perspectives because there is plenty of spots you can just sit around the canyon rim. It's clear where the names come from because the views will be almost impossible to beat. On my way back, I wanted to check out another viewpoint that is popular in the park, and that's the Mesa Arts Viewpoint. It's a little longer to get to this viewpoint, but it's still a short distance with a 0.7 mile hike. This gives you more views of the eastern canyons with a unique view under the Mesa Arch. It's ridiculous how vast the land is in the state of Utah, and if you want to get a good idea of that, then you have to check out this park. The views were absolutely insane, and you can get to them so easily without doing much work. That's all I have right now for this park, but stay tuned for part 6, where I'll be visiting various parks and cities in the beautiful state of Indiana. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons because it really helps out the channel. Hope you all have a great day and until next time, World Geo out.